What's going on guys? Welcome to the Universe Sim, which is pretty much a game where I like run a planet. I'm like a god pretty much and I have to kind of keep my civilization surviving for as long as I possibly can. Uh, the game is on their website. You can ask him will watch the really cool trailer in the description as well if you're interested in the game. Uh, check out any links that I have in the description. But we're gonna hop in. I'm completely blind. I have like tutorials and stuff on. I am a little sick so I apologize for being a little bit more nasally than I already am. Um, I'll be sick probably for another couple days, but gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta record some videos, dude. Just gotta, just gotta do. All right, so we're gonna start a new life. This is in alpha. There's things subject to change. There's a whole bunch of things, you know. You know, alphas. Everybody here should know by now if you're a regular viewer of my channel. Alphas are alphas are alphas. There are some survival aspects of this game. Like I said, we gotta keep our civilization alive. There's brutal winters. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff. Aliens will come to your planet. You can progress your planet to make it so they start doing metal instead of, like, farming. They'll start doing factories, and it kind of reminds me a lot of, like, a Banished-style game. If you guys ever watched Banished on my channel, mixed with, like, city skylines, mixed with, like, other games. Gotta allow access, dude. Alright. Welcome, creators. Can I pause the time? I cannot. Thank you for once again dedicating your time and effort towards improving the universe sim throughout its development. This game is progressing well, but is still buggy and unfinished state. These early releases are no representation of the final game. The primary purpose is to test new functionality systems integrated into the main game. Alright, just as I said before, you guys know. Alphas, alphas. Would you like to play the tutorials? Play with tutorials? Yes, of course. We need to know. Alright, so we can drag our whole planet around by clicking. You're going to see a very, very similarities between, like, city skylines, but with a whole planet. I don't think we personally, like, place cities and stuff, but we'll see as time goes on. I think they just kind of randomly develop. This is cool. So it's actually daytime on one side and nighttime on another. Like how a planet actually would work. So spacebar does what? Oh, spacebar is like a free camera. So if we spacebar, we could actually go down to our planet. Look at this kind of a free roam camera we're in the clouds right now next place an epicenter now this is the time to place an epicenter the harder your civilization is suitable location however sure to choose location carefully is important that the place the epicenter near essential resources such as water food trees stone easily accessible to the people honestly i think right here is a beautiful spot for an epicenter the epicenter forms the core of your new society. The civilizations will expand outwards and the location of population grows. Your beings, known as nuggets, that's funny, are resource and industrious. Resourceful and industrious, but they require some guidance if they want to be productive. Now let's just move on to the main user base. Interview or, or overview, sorry. Okay. It is the most utmost importance that you keep people happy. Happiness is essential to gauge how well you are doing. It affects how productive nuggets are. If your happiness is low or decreasing, uh, you need to make some urgent changes to your civilization. Very similar to city skylines. A uh, growing population means a growing civilization. A population means a growing civilization, and that's a good thing. Do we just have, like, oh, some thunderstorms are coming in. Populations counter uh, hit zero. That means you're doing something very, very wrong. Let's move on to how babies are made, shall we? <laughs> your open god powers menu by clicking on the power button in the middle mouse. Okay on your middle mouse button. Every power you use requires god power points and this will slowly reveal, uh, refill over time, so use them wisely. To see which of your female nuggets are currently fertile, simply click on the fertility button shown below. Okay, so where's this fertility button that I'm not, okay, right there. Every female nugget has a fertility meter that slowly, excuse me, fills over time and fertility reaches 100%. They're ready to find a suitable mate. You can initiate the mating process by clicking on her icon. Alternatively, you can turn on the auto mating option and just let nature take its course. <laughs> in statistics screen, you can see information about planets, animals, population, resources, and nuggets. Okay. Clicking the epicenter window will also take, uh, take you directly to the epicenter. No matter where you are on the planet, it's useful the way to quickly return to your civilization. Construction menu lets you build... Um, Every key buildings, those are organized in six categories. So we do actually get to place buildings. That's really nice. I like that. Uh, resources, resource management, production, adaptation, expansion, epicenter, etc., etc., etc. 
Resources are required for every little thing you do in the game. Nuggets, nuggets need food and water. Buildings require stone and or wood to be constructed, and modern society cannot function without electricity. You'll need to manage your civilization's resource usage and gather, gathering carefully in order to avoid a disaster. There will also be plenty of research paths that either help in sucking the planet dry or producing resources slowly but sustainably. So we could really just fuck the whole planet over and then go move to another planet. That is a thing you could do in the game. Every nugget requires clean water to survive and will consume water periodically throughout each day. Most of the biomes in the game have water sources upon which players can build water pumps. You can also construct wells and nuggets to drink from. Each building requires water as well. Water tab at the bottom of the bar shows your water production. The news and history log panel contains the messages, both the new and old, about the daily operations of your civilization. Okay. The seasons panel uh, contains information about the current season and all those to come. It's important to take note of the seasons as preparations must be made for harsher, for the harshness of winter and the earlier eras. The panel also includes useful information such as temperature and exact time of day depending on where you are on the planet. You find yourself not knowing what uh, you can hover over the mouse and the element in the tooltip with explanation. You can speed up your game with the plus button. Okay, we don't want to speed up right away. Okay. So I think we got the gist down, and I know that you guys don't always want me to read tutorials and stuff, but I want to figure out the game too myself, and I don't like to like learn it and then hop in. I like to learn it with you guys. I've always done that with every game I've always played. So when it comes to the fertility button, nobody is fertile. Uh, we're going to keep automating off for now. Opens the creator powers menu. So this is our god powers. So we can construct influences. Uh... These are all coming soon, it seems like. We don't have, like, all of these yet. But we have a bunch here. So, nuggets are really, are, aren't really really programmed to do exactly as you wish, especially when it comes to construction. This is a way you need to find which to communicate your orders without drawing too much suspicion. Casting the focus power on a uh, building will cause the shine brightly. Uh, so, that pretty much will get people to do stuff. Inconceivable. Ever wondered how you lose 100 or so kilograms of useless fat? Uh, cut him out of the relationship. Ha ha ha. This power makes female nugget pregnant without the help of a male. This is a bread and butter of any god. Who doesn't enjoy throwing stones, trees, or people around? The harder you fling an object, the more damage it will do. But we need to, like, throw some baddies away and stuff later. All right, where's my nuggets, dude? Hey, nuggets, you're so adorable, dude. You're so cute. Citizen of Mother Planet. Nuggets are rather fragile beings, despite your best attempts to toughen them up in the countless hours of hard labor. One minute they're collecting stone, the next they're crushed beneath a landslide, such as life. So we need to keep them happy. She's happy right now. Okay, I can kind of tell what all these things mean. And like I said, you can hover over them. So, the building tab. Here we go. None of those can be built yet. So we can build a farm. We can do a water reservoir. We can do ourselves a water pump. We can do a forecast tower. And then there's a whole bunch of things as well. Eatery, constructor's hut, cemetery, hospital, and then coming soon. So you can see it's it's very early alpha. Like I said, we're going to make like a few episodes out of this. As long as you guys enjoy it, obviously leave a like if you want to see more. So out of everything, it seems like right now, food is kind of low down on there. So let's see if we can't get ourselves a farm up and running. We place a farm just out here. Construct this in the current location. Yep. And see what we'll do real quick is we'll just pop some god powers down. I think I should be able to. Not sure how to use it actually. That's fine. I'll probably just build it anyway. Let's see. Let's see. Where are our people? Anybody pregger yet? Can we get anybody preggers yet? Okay. This, this lady's coming over to come build. Supporters. We got two supporters on the farm. Prioritize. Boom. They're building. So this is going to be very much like, um, as well, if I, I played Rise of Nations way back in the day. Like, way, way back, if you guys remember that game. There's some similarities. It's, it's very, you're going to see a lot of similarities between multiple games, but they're all great games. So, it starts to add up. So what do we need... We don't have any constructors here. Oh, we choose the constructors, right? Oh, no, we can go to them. What's this bitch doing over here? Getting metal and shit? All right. We're getting some stone. Get some stone over there. Oh, I see. They're removing the rocks and the trees from the construction area before they build it. Makes sense. Makes sense. So that's our food. It's warm as shit out. That's nice. 
Not too windy. Uh, let's see what we're gonna build next, though. So we're gonna build a farm right away. A fisher pier. Our, I know our like our water's right here, so we could easily do a fisher pier. But I kind of wanted to see how this progresses. Water reservoirs collect excess water generated by pumps. That additional water can be used in your consumption. Drastically rises. They require pump building to be operational. Can we build the pumps? Yes, we can. This is where all the goodies are, the cemetery and all this other crazy stuff, which we will get to later, hopefully. So I think like at the end of the day, like, so there's only two people living here. At the end of the day, like this is going to turn in from stone to like a skyscraper, like the more we play. And I don't know how harsh, harsh the winter is. Hopefully it's not as harsh as banished winters, because I remember I used to have like half of my population die in the winters, which is always hilarious. So they're working on getting more wood and everything. Which is real nice. Anybody preggers? Able to get preggers? I'm just going to turn on automation automation for that. There we go, dudes. Nice. So now the farm is coming along. Prefer water from a well rather than from a lake. All right, let's keep that in mind. So they're saying they want a water well. How about a reservoir? I don't know if I could... Oh, I can do a well. Nice, I can. Let's pop this, like... Right here. So they'll do the well. So they're going to give me tips as time goes on. No, don't die! I didn't know I needed a well right away. Prioritize this. Fuck the farm. Oh, then we're going to finish the farm anyway. And then I believe we could choose, like, which crops we want to grow in the farm as well. Which is really cool. Stay alive, little buddy! No. We need the well. Drink some water, dude. Are we completely out of water? All right, the farm has no water. But they're going to go get water, I believe. No, don't go to sleep. Where are they going? They're going to go drink water? What is this? A stone hut. No. We don't want a stone hut. Don't die already. Okay, what are you guys doing? Go build the well. You said you wanted a well. We have enough wood and everything. Prioritize. Why are you not... Oh, you buttholes. Construction influence on the well, please. Alright, so I think I just gave construction influence on the well. I'm pretty sure. Farms have three workers, slots, and assignment for farmers. These nuggets will take care of the planting, watering, harvesting activities, depending on their appearances, uh, and may double as scarecrows. That's cool. So we can plant, and then there has to be a certain temperature and all this other stuff. Then food and temperature. And farm user interface at the bottom of the, cro the crop panel. There is a planting queue. You can select two crops to place in the queue by clicking. Okay, so if we want to keep stuff planted all the time. All right, we need some idiots to go over here and do what they're supposed to do, please. Are they eating? I think they're eating real quick. She's sleeping. Oh, they're they're fucking, dude. They're fucking. They're fucking. They're going to make some babies. Make the babies. You're like thirsty as hell. I don't think sex on a dehydration schedule is the best idea. But go for it, dudes. Do they just Oh my god, he's a baby. Komoto. Well, how adorable. Does Komodo work or just, like, fuck around all day? There we go. There's the well. That's what we wanted. Hurry up. Almost done. And then this will have water. We need to get water pumps and everything going next, too. There's, like, a whole bunch of, like, random stuff growing around. I wonder if they'll just manually go grab those. Food doesn't seem to be an issue. Hey, we got water now. You happy? Uh, so thirsty. Important. Important. We're working on it. We just got a well, all right? It's producing water. Give it some time. The well building panel displays information about the level of water. If your level is, uh, is four, it means you have enough for four nuggets and you'll have to wait to, for the well to refill. Refill rate will show how fast, uh, it will refill. The value corresponds to the biome the well is built in. If it's near water, refill a lot faster than in the desert. The value is... Okay, so that kind of sucks. What does this mean? Upgrade's coming soon, so we can upgrade it later in the game. Once the updates come out. Alright, so let's go ahead. 
We need more water, so let's go ahead and get ourselves that whole water pumping thing going. Right? Uh, every game in the game uses water in various amounts. Yes. Get me that water pump going ASAP, dudes. So there's no farmers here or anything yet, but I think our food is fine. We're at 12 food. What is this supposed to be? Total number of prepared dishes. There's no prepared dishes at all yet. I told you, people are going to die, man. It's going to happen. I'm telling you. People are going to die. Alright, let's go ahead and get that tower going as well. The water tower. Seems like water is the issue. They're all working. Where can we put the water tower anyway? This thing is like next to impossible to place. Maybe we just don't have enough materials yet? Yeah, what does it say we need for this? What is this again? Forecasting tower. I can tell you like the weather and stuff. Maybe we should go with like the basic things first. All right, let's get some farmers going. Assign a farmer. What are they building? Oh, they're building a house for them to sleep at night. Okay. Oh, they're mating. More babies, dude. All right, so we're this guy looks like a farmer. We're going to have him be a farmer, dude. He's going to be a farmer. He's got no home. Oh, no. What are you going to do, dude? They should just build stone huts on their own, right? But we don't have enough water. Okay, we have enough water for two. So we really should get this water going over there. That'll pump water. Maybe I should have put the well closer to the water. Let's see if we can put a well closer to the water to increase the production of water. Like I said, we're just kind of in the testing phase. We're probably going to have this entire civilization. Oh, I just see now. When we place it, it says a number above it. But that means this is a 16, which is actually really good. So this should be pumping water. It's just going to take a little bit. Like the production of it. Once we get this water pump going, we'll have plenty of water. Alright, they don't seem to be too upset. But we need more buildings. We need more places for people to live. How do we build more places for people to live? We got a fishing pier for food? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Water pump. Forecasting tower. So it seems like they just do this on their own, right? So two people live in a stone hut, and then they can have one child per stone hut. Alright, well, we're not going to have you do this anymore you go do you go do you there we go we don't have enough water right now to get a farm going but hopefully this pump changes that water pump is complete yes look at all that water now water remaining in the lake so we can drain the entire lake oh shit I don't think we're going to but we can. We can We can drain the entire lake. Alright, so now we have water for... Boom. We have water for eight... Eight dudes. And we have how many? I don't even know how many people we have at this point. Is there a number somewhere that tells me? I don't see it right now, but that's fine. Alright, we have plenty of water for farming now. Now we're going to assign Farmer Adahi. We're going to assign you here, dude. And I want you to build that their farm because we need food production we have enough food for 13 people but we'll go ahead and make some of these things like the eatery eaters are somewhat in watering holes of the stone age this is where nuggets go to eat and make merry so like if they need to be all nice and happy they'll go to this eatery um, but I don't think I have the means to build any of these things quite yet it uses two water seems like everything right now uses water I think I should probably get a hospital going ASAP Because if they start getting sick for some odd reason, we want to make sure that they're nice and awesome and ready to, you know, somewhere to heal themselves. And I assume we need to assign them to, like, go there and whatnot, but... Can we move this somehow? No. These guys just plopped it right there, dude. Oh, everybody's supporting the hospital, though. Everybody likes the decision that God made on that one. 
So we could just like increase production of our, our people as well. What's our water like right now? 8.0? Nice. So we got 8.0 water. If we went ahead and made that water tower though, we'd be able to hold on to a lot more water for longer. So let's put a water tower next to the hospital, shall we? Look at the skull on the ground too. You see that? That's funny because that's the hospital. Unless we built the cemetery on accident. No, I think we, we chose hospital, right? Might be a cemetery. Who knows? But this water tower will be right here, which is really nice. Okay, go ahead and eat eat up some food. All right. So you're almost done building. You're at 55%. So somebody grew up. So we got actually a new dude. So with this new person, we're going to assign them as a farmer as well. So anybody that looks like a farmer, anyone with a beard, I want to be a farmer. Build another farm for me, dude. That way we can get food production up. So what does this mean? The water usage of your civilization. Okay, that's nice and easy. So we're way above our usage. Boom. Nighttime. So thirsty. Important. Why don't you go get some water, you idiot? Go get some water. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Get some water. Do I have to unassign you to get some water, or are you just going to go do it? Maybe he's not getting water because he has to finish building first before his guy's like, okay, right, we can get water now. All right. I mean, I'm enjoying this game so far. This, like, like I said, it's early alpha. And there's not much to do, but wait. Just wait till the game gets like to its uh, great stage of having everything done. Okay, so there's a bunch of different fruits. Juicy acorns take four minutes to grow. I don't know if that's four minutes, four days, four hours, whatever. Dragon fruit. Slightest country outer cell. Dragon fruit maintains warmth internally, making it perfect for cold conditions. So we, we would want to grow that before winter. Ooh, it's getting cold at night. So what does this crab apple do? A fruit that shatters like fragile gem in the mouth, melting a delicious, nutritious liquid. Someone must have decided the shiny rocks look good enough to eat. Okay. Most resilient crop of them all. These plums can handle extreme temperatures. Uh, either end of the thermometer. Uh, but their food yield is very low. Seems like dragon fruit would be the way to go. Nugget could conceive. Uh, fortunately, its toxins can be neutralized through a relatively simple process, but the name remains to honor its founder, the bloody diarrhea fruit. Nice, dude. The crop is least likely to cause any adverse side effects, whilst offering an excellent growth rate out output ratio. We're going to go dragon fruit. I think. I think winter's here. Fuck. That was not expected at all. It is snowing and cold as shit. This is not good. They're making love again. You guys just fuck all the time, don't you? Nothing but fucking, dude. We have plenty of food, honestly. I think the first winter should be pretty simple. Once this is built, we'll do that really resilient crop. It shouldn't get below 5 degrees Celsius. So we can queue this up, which is what I'm going to do. Is this, not already, is this already grown? So we do this, dragon fruit. Just queue it all up for dragon fruit. This will be built. Or dragon egg fruit, sorry. And then we're going to do this one that's really good for really cold. Just in case it gets mad cold. And we might need it. Okay, that should be good. This does not... We need a witch doctor. Huh. So the oldest, the oldest person we have is 21 years old. We can assign a six-year-old to be the witch doctor. Sure. We'll have a six-year-old witch doctor. And these will be used for healing people. No, we do not want to demolish. All right. Well, thank you guys for swinging by the first episode. If you guys want to see more, please click that like button. The game's going to be really cool. Like I said, this will be a mini series before it turns into a full-blown series. I will definitely be playing it on like every update because I assume they're going to like increase tech tiers as time goes on with each update. Eventually, you're going to be able to take over other planets, get attacked by aliens, build these giant, giant cool like cities throughout your entire world, and you can like very micromanage every little bit in peace until like everything's just running smoothly. You could ruin entire planets by taking all the water. You can. There's a whole bunch of cool things. So we're going to be hopping out. Hopefully you guys enjoy the episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.